So this is Raman J. Patel, who has been working as a creator, chief creative officer at Idealic. So uh, Raman, can you give us a brief of your career? So um, in 1993, I was an intern at Everest. At that point in time, Everest was possibly one of the top five creative agencies in the country. We had a truckload of some of the biggest uh, brands in the country. And uh, the very first day that I was an intern, I felt that this is uh, what I want to do with the rest of my life, be a writer in advertising. And um, the next year, in 1994, I was an intern at uh, Chaitra, which is now Leo Burnett. And uh, that just, uh, you know, again, it, it made me feel I'm on the right path. By the time I hit 1995, which is when I graduated from doing my BCom, I uh, I didn't even wait for my results. I think a week after I finished my TY BCom, I uh, applied for a copy test at Everest. And I was quite sure I wanted to be at Everest and not at Burnett at that stage because I had felt that uh, I could learn over there a little more because the people were a little more easy to uh, you know teach and spend time with a kid. And um, I knew that there would always be the creative agencies later as well to uh, take me in. Um, but at that stage, Everest was like the perfect uh, foundation for me. I learned the trade over there. I, it was an amazing learning experience. I had the best creative directors, Vinayak Pongshe, Jack Ritravat, uh, Iqbal, um, and my mentor, Hanoz Magrelia. And, and just being in the same room as some of the most uh, fantastic creative directors like Milind Dhaimade, Wayne Snyer, uh, Uday Parker. It, it was just amazing. I was, we were just absorbing uh, on a daily basis. And one of the things I uh, like to do is not move around too much. And that's funny in advertising because everyone moves, you know, ship every one or two years. And I've, I've had long stints in all my agencies because I, I think that's when the client really respects you for being around and, you know, you're learning his business, you're learning how they work inside out. So I learned the trade, as I like to say, at Everest for five years. And then in 2000, I moved on to contract. Uh, sorry, I moved on to SSC and Bilintas, where uh, I met. Uh, so, so SSC and Bilintas was like the first Indian agency to have won a gold line at Cannes. And it was amazing. The culture was very, very different. It was a boutique hot shop, which uh, only participated in international awards. And uh, they had won, I think, over 100 international awards in their first year. <laughs> I mean, along with the Gold Lions. So it was like a powerhouse of stellar creative people. That's when I really learned uh, the art of how strategy could be so differentiated to help a brand. Uh, um, you know, where, where by the time the strategy was chiseled, even if you just replicated the strategy in an ad, you would just do you know really well but uh, then the creative guys would take it to another level so that that creative leap is something i learned at uh, sscnb and uh, that's i think been a great uh, grounding for what happened next which was uh, when i worked with ravi desh pandey at contract for a good 10 12 years uh, so that was really coming home to the it, it was like you know um Nirvana. I mean, there's no other word for working at contract. It was home to the finest writers, the finest art directors, the finest suits, as we call the stat people. And I spent 10, 12 years over there. It was an amazing run. I didn't even feel like uh, all that time had passed. And uh, that's when I learned so much that I could put into practice everything I learned in my previous stints. And Ravi, I think, was so encouraging. Uh, no matter at what stage of my career I was at, he was just always there to you know, guide and groom and nurture. And if I've learned anything in life, it's from him on how to be a creative leader. So yeah, um, after that, I uh, got an opportunity to run an office uh, at Awas Bombay. And uh, eventually, I was also running Awas Bangalore. So that was a different experience. So that uh, was still fairly recently. And now I'm the chief creative officer at Idea Lake. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a tech firm, unlike an advertising agency that I've always been in. But uh, while it's tech firm, you know, we're pivoting very sharply to offer, for example, uh, we've created Mac Delivery for the first time in the, in the world anywhere it's been created here. 
So the the opportunity to sort of log in and buy a burger online was created here. And then they took that globally. So I'd always noticed that uh, they were doing some really path-breaking stuff. And uh, there is only one, you know, maybe two or three other agencies in the world that I really respect. So one is RGA in Frisco. Then there's Aqua in Berlin. And uh, there's Droga5 and Accenture Interactive, the partnership in New York. And these three places were doing some very cutting edge work. And I really wanted to be uh, you know, part of something like that or create something like that. So I really like is what I hope will be in the future, something like that, or perhaps better. And uh, you know, that's the intent and the vision with which uh, we're approaching everything. So that's been my career in a nutshell. Along the way, I've made a truckload of friends. I think, uh, I've, and while I say I've worked for 25 years, I've probably actually worked 50 years because of all the overnights we've put in. <laughs> so that's that's the, my uh, journey so far. And a large part of this journey is uh, the need to reinvent, the need to, um, you know, make yourself relevant for the next 25 years because the world i i began in is no longer the world that is present in 2020 so how am i going to be relevant for you know till 2040 for example so th that's that's the reason for the pivot over here so yeah i'm very excited that uh, you should be asking uh, all these questions and i'm happy to advise anyone who's watching this on what uh, you know advertising can be and so on Great. So what are the specializations within a creative agency? So there are uh, four or five very crucial roles that uh, exist. And for those of you who are watching, I think uh, this is your talent and your skill and your aptitude. You may choose to be one or the other of them. Don't try to be everything. You can't be a jack of all trades, even, uh, even though Many people in the in industry have tried, especially on the social media side. But but fundamentally, there's what's to be said, which is the which is the role of account management. Account management fundamentally has to talk to the client and figure out what feature or what benefit of this product or service that the client makes is the thing that we need to communicate. Um, so they know the clients really well. Then there's account planning, which is a bunch of people with uh, the discipline of planning where a planner will say, OK, basis this category and this brand, these are the kinds of insights I can offer you from the world of consumers. So account planning um, is, is like a lighthouse for uh, the creative people to figure out, how do I talk to this person who I've never met? And uh, what, what are their dreams, their hopes, their beliefs, their attitudes? How do they, what do they think? How, how do they feel? What do they do? So. Uh, between account management and account planning, that's the, they, they figure out the what's to be said, and it's uh, the who to say it to. Along comes creative after the strategy is sort of baked, where we figure out how it's to be said. And uh, that's a large part of the biz. And within the creative space, you have writers like me, and you have art directors as well. And uh, both of us are expected to uh, ideate first. We're supposed to have an idea that solves. I mean, all of advertising is about solving a marketing problem through an elegant ad advertising solution. That's very persuasive and charming. So that's our, uh, you know, how you say it is everything in life. And um, after that, we have the media bunch who figure out where it's to be said. Because ultimately, you can have the best ad in the world, but if the consumer just doesn't see it, then what's the point, right? So that's that's another role, and that involves a lot of math, a lot of uh, figures, numbers, number crunching, algorithms, softwares. Uh, it's endless. But some people really enjoy that, and they become uh, indispensable media planners uh, for any brand. So these are more or less the roles. And then, of course, there's now uh, technology in the mix as well. So you can be a technologist in terms of actually writing code yourself, or you could be a tech strategist where you've sort of figured out, OK, this is the kind of technology solution a client really needs. So you know that would be uh, the principal heads of everything. So what was your main motivation to work in the creative field? 
So I think uh, I've always believed that you know you should follow your heart and you should follow your passion. And my passion was always about uh, you know writing, and my passion was always about people and understanding people and uh, you know understanding people at another level where I could hear what they were not saying and I could see what they were not showing. And I've always been very interested in multiple uh, people, and I have friends from all walks of life, and you know, like uh, ranging from. I mean, it's just diverse. I mean, I'll I'll be friends with a lot of people because I'm I'm absorbing from all of them. How how are they in real life? And uh, I think the best thing you can do as an ad person is to just observe uh, because real life is your best teacher. It's not it's not other people's work. It, it's 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 real life. It's right out there. And so my motivations were: I just wanted to work, uh, use my words to, you know, persuade people to do something. And uh, I think that's the main motivation, so to speak, because it's it's at my uh, core. You know, I I have to do something that communicates with people. And if 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 I'm not putting an ad out in a week, I get really like cranky. So so I love I love solving problems in my head all the time. And uh, my wife. Uh, you know notices that uh, i'm thinking about something and this is my thinking face so then she doesn't say anything till i'm done and uh, yeah that's i think how all creative people are we're forever dreaming about something um and you know so while uh, these things in my head are uh, it's 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 a god given gift i don't think i don't think you can really learn it it's just the way your brain is wired it's it's uh, it's cool to say that everyone is creative but uh, you know we've we've suffered for art we've we've gone through school being unrecognized as lateral thinkers we're not linear thinkers we're not logical where we we understand people far more so if there's a class which is very you know linear or logical we're just lost and we're dreaming out of the window so so yeah um that's i think some of the motivations uh at, at a more formal level i studied at xic which at that point in time was the best place in asia to study advertising and marketing we had a fantastic teacher arvind vinayak there and uh, you know it's amazing he set us up for greatness 20 years back i mean uh, he he what he said then is what i'm applying now because you know he just took us to the top in that one year of uh, learning from him and every day i thank him man because you know the, the the power of his wisdom was so out there that it's taken me so many years to realize oh that's what he meant and I, I I put that into practice uh, daily. So yeah, so I'm an XIC alumni. All right. So where has your work been featured? So it's uh, generally been featured in the trade rags. I mean, it's it's whenever we've done a campaign, it's sometimes made it to um, Campaign India or agency FAQs or best media info and you know all the usual desi rags um sometimes it's been featured in the asia pack things and occasionally it's also been featured internationally if i ever won an award over there so so yeah i mean uh, it, it's 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 depending on uh, what the campaign was i think the campaign that really went viral was uh, the geo parsi campaign which i did and that kind of uh, <laughs> escalated overnight into I mean, we got in. Uh, we got into just about everything you could think of uh, in in the world of media. For example, uh, BBC and the New York Times and Al Jazeera. And, I mean, you name it. We were interviewed by them. So, or if not interviewed, at least featured by them. So it depends. You you know how much uh, how much the campaign is. Fine. Okay. So that sounds great. Um, so, what guidance would you like to give some students who are not so sure on uh, joining the creative field? And yeah, actually, I'll start that question again. Sorry, I put this on. Okay. So, what guidance would you give students who are considering working in the creative field as a career? So, my guidance, if any, would be. If you feel you can create, uh, you know, communication. If you feel 
that you are creative inside and uh, you want to prove it and you feel this is something you can do day in and day out and especially at 4 a.m. on a Sunday morning working in the office and it's a hard life but some people naturally gravitate to that life because uh, there's nothing else you Rick would rather be doing and and so if if it's there in your heart and if it's burning inside of you please please follow it don't don't succumb to societal pressure of but my parents wanted me to be x y or z uh it is your life uh and as uh, a guy recently said um you know time flies and you have only one life so you need to live your life and not anybody else's life that they want you to live and you know there's good news and there's bad news as this guy said and he said uh, you know time flies but the good news is you're the pilot so even if you're 15 and watching this and you feel at some point in life uh, you you look at the ads on tv or online or in the mall or on the mobile and you feel you know i i i love i love the stuff that's coming at me in the form of ads or branded content or whatever and if you feel you can do better uh please please explore it because there is nothing worse than living a life where you wasted your god given talent nothing worse you know it's it's a gift from god don't 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 waste it because so few of us have it you know so so that's my advice so great advice so <laughs> thank you rai one thank you so much for your time and good luck my pleasure my pleasure thank you till later hopefully i see some of your ads sure sure